huge things like this monster truck. The world's biggest trampoline tower. The world's biggest Lego yacht. But today, I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be surviving using only tiny items for the next 24 hours. Oh! to subscriber Robert Kirby for giving me this video idea. If you guys want to shout out, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on any video. Tiny item number one is the world's smallest iPhone. You guys know that I love iPhones and I use one every single day, so I'm gonna have to downsize to this. Powering up, let's see. Okay, it says welcome. This is my regular iPhone, so you guys can see the size difference. I mean, it is half the height, so it's like four times smaller. Most of the time I vlog with my iPhone, and so today this is my iPhone, so let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, it's got a front camera too, okay. I am officially recording a video on the world's smallest phone. Guys, I'm actually gonna vlog on this today. Guys, look at this. It's vlogging, I cannot believe it's actually filming video. Here we go, this is the back camera. This is exactly how I film vlogs uh, on my main channel using the iPhones and this is the tiny little one. You guys can see them picking their nose and... Ew, what are you guys doing? Stop, that's gross. On to tiny item number two is how I edit my YouTube videos and that is with a laptop. This is the world's smallest MacBook Air. It literally fits in like a little box. It's got the Apple logo on it. This is so cool. There's no way this works, but the little iPhone worked. I didn't think that was gonna work. Here it is, it doesn't look like much. It's super small, super light. I have doubts this actually works, but let me see. Here's the power button. Oh, I think it's turning on. I see the Apple logo. This is crazy. All right, let me enter a password. One, two, three, four, enter. Oh my gosh, guys, this tiny laptop is so small. I mean, look at this trackpad. This has literally got to be the smallest laptop I have ever seen. On to the next tiny item. It's like a ball or like an egg, and then you just peel it apart. Opening the first one, and oh my, no way, it's so small. Look how small that is, so tiny. What is this? What? The bot squad, it's a little robot toy. Again, I don't know how this is gonna help me survive for the next 24 hours, but this thing is tiny. All right, I'm gonna do a fast unboxing. Yes, I get a Build-A-Bear in the actual Build-A-Bear box. Okay, Rubik's Cube. I mean, this could work because, uh, you know, that'll definitely keep me entertained. Oh, no way. This is like the tiniest little matchbox car I've ever seen. That is awesome. And I got a dinosaur, you know, in case I need protection, I guess. What the heck is this? There's a whole instruction, man. This one's, oh, is it a shelf? Didn't really fully put it together, but I think it's like a little shelf. Uh, that's probably what it is. That's pretty cool. There we go. That is starting to be functional. Talk about surviving using tiny stuff. I have a shelf to put all my tiny stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use those to survive. I need something a little bit bigger, but still tiny. Up next, we got the world's smallest leaf blower. Look at this thing. It is so small. But let's cut into it and let's test it out. I mean, maybe it's super powerful. Oh. Oh, it's got some power. Oh my gosh. And now we got the tiny vacuum. It's the world's tiniest handheld vacuum. USB powered. I mean, look at them like holding with the little fingertips. All right, let's cut into it and see if this is even gonna work. This thing is so legit, guys. Look at this. It's got a little cable. It's got a little like brush attachment. Let's turn it on. I don't know if it's really got any suction power. Oh wait. It might do like pencil erasers or something. Out here at the Timur house, we have a lot of trees, so I might need to cut a tree down. We have the world's smallest mini chainsaw. Check this out, it actually works. And it's a little bit scary because this is pretty dangerous. We're gonna have to test this out and see if we can cut down a tree. Next is something teeny tiny. These are tiny tools, so I'm always needing like a screwdriver. I'm always fixing or building something. Oh my, what? This is like a tiny little wrench. And these are all functional tools too, guys. This is like a little tiny screwdriver. And inside this one, we have a tiny little saw. It's not super sharp, but that probably could cut something. We have all of these little things. And in this one, we have a little like hammer pickaxe, a tiny shovel. What am I gonna be digging? Like a little hole for ants? This is insane. But who knows, maybe these tiny tools will come in handy. 
This is a 24 hour challenge, so if it gets dark, I'm gonna need a flashlight. And this is the world's smallest flashlight. Wait, look how small it is. It's even smaller than I thought. No way does this work. Oh, it's on. And it's surprisingly bright. Guys, look at this. Of course, I'm gonna get hungry, but I can't use regular baking stuff, so I got a world's smallest baking set. All of this is fully functional. No way, guys. These are like little oven mitts, but they just fit on the tips of your finger. This is when you go in and out of the oven when it's hot, because this literally will cook stuff. You can actually make like little molds, make little muffins and cupcakes and whatnot. That's actually what this is. Baking set, check. And to go with the baking set, we got a little tea party set because, uh, you know, I gotta drink out of something. This is actually insane. Look at these tiny things. These are real ceramic plates and actual silverware. This is gonna be a challenge because it's gonna literally take me 24 hours to eat any food to fill me up. And lastly, we got the world's smallest arcade setup, which comes with a TV, a console, and a joystick remote. This is gonna come in handy for sure. These are all the tiny items, so let's box them up in the world's smallest backpack, vlogging on the world's smallest iPhone. So for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be using only tiny items. And first up, I'm gonna need a car, but this isn't a tiny car, but this little Lambo is. This one really isn't my favorite because it is so small and I almost got hit by a car. So I think I'm just gonna use the tiny Lambo to drive over to the tiny Jeep. And this thing is way cooler, so I'm probably gonna use this. It's the smallest gas powered Jeep that you can buy. Electric start. Yes. This thing is so sick. First off is the Team Rar House. We're going up from the garages. We're gonna drive through the trails, probably cook some food or just get settled because for the next about 23 hours, I have to use only tiny things. Hey, what are you following me for? Oh, sorry. <laughs> and wait, hold up. What the heck is this? No way, there's a tree down. First obstacle. I think I know what we can use. Somewhere in these tools, I have an ax. Yep, right here. Are you kidding? I don't know if this is gonna work because it's literally tiny. Ow. Okay. Oh my god, I don't even know if I can scratch the bark off. I think this is gonna take forever, but I have something else. I do have the world's smallest chainsaw. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh! Oh my god, this thing is actually amazing. Mini chainsaw makes mini firewood, so I can make a mini campfire to stay warm for it. This is crazy. Path is clear, let's go on to the Team Roar House. Pulling up to the Team Roar House. I'm getting surprisingly hungry in this challenge, so let's go cook some tiny food with our tiny stuff. So this bowl I can't actually use because it's not tiny, but I can use this tiny bowl. And I wonder if it's a whisk. I'm gonna use some of this batter. Tastes so good. Normally you gotta mix it, so I'm gonna mix it with my tiny whisk. That makes no sense. This is so tiny. The best part is definitely looking this good. Mm. We got our batter. Let's go ahead and fill our cupcake molds. Oh my gosh. Get a little bit more batter. Mm. Now I gotta put on my oven mix, like this. Luckily we have a big oven and a small one, so we can just use this one. I don't know how long it takes to cook tiny food. That looks pretty good. So we're gonna put that in, we'll keep an eye on it, and hopefully we get like mini cupcakes. Might as well make a little cake while we're at it too, because these things are so small, I could probably eat five of these little cakes. Oh, okay, let's close this. Let's go do some other tiny stuff and check back in. Putting a little timer on my tiny iPhone, and one more bite of this. Mmm, it's so good. Let's go do some other tiny stuff. Two hours later. Oh my gosh, I think we might be done. <gasps> no, wait, one more minute. Food's almost ready, about a minute left, so let's go ahead and get the plate set up. It's no fun eating alone, so I'm gonna set up a plate for Andrew as well. Okay, I think it's ready to go. This is scary. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yes, got it, I got it. I didn't burn myself. Okay, great. This one honestly looks the best, so I'm gonna run with this. I think it's cooked perfectly, okay. Slicing this into four. And I'm gonna put one for Andrew <laughs> and one piece for me. Oh my gosh. There we go. This is my little knife. I mean, is it, can you even see it? Barely. It's like smaller than your fingernail. Here we go. Oh, the fork actually stabbed in. <gasps> it's working. Hmm. 
It actually worked. The little fork and knife actually works. Fork stab. And I can't even, I'm like cutting blind. My fingers are bigger than it. Oh my. Mm. Even this entire piece is still like a tiny crumb. Mm. But it tastes so good. All right, my turn. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> you, can't even, you can't even pick How it up. How do you pick it up? It's so tiny. Okay, there we go. I got one fork and a knife. Ah! <laughs> Do I look like a giant right now? I probably look huge. Yeah, you look huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sloppiest cut I've ever seen. I'm so <laughs> How do ants live like this? Okay. Mm. That's good. Just go for all. Go for the all of it. See if you can okay. pick it up. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Did you eat the fork, Andrew? You're choking. Spit it out. Oh, oh the fork. I forgot the fork was there. I almost swallowed it. Oh it's my so god! It's so small. You can literally inhale these things. <laughs> Eating is only half a meal. Of course, you have to drink to stay hydrated. I got Diet Coke. It's not very hydrating, but it is mini. This is the smallest can that I could find. I'm gonna fill up the teapot. <gasps> oh, that was a great pour. First try. <gasps> so we pull it off. I'm gonna pour one for Andrew. Come on, come on. No, no. Ah, it's dripping. <laughs> Yes! Oh, I'm gonna put a little more in here. Oh. Oops. You can see how small this is. Oh! Oh, you're not! Oh. Here we go. Yes! I'm gonna go for the first sip. Cheers, Andrew. Mmm. <laughs> I can taste it. Angie, you ready? Don't swallow the cup this time. <laughs> I'll try my best. This is, it's hard to show how small this is. Here we go. Can you taste it? Barely. That's less than a drop. There's more on the counter than there was in that cup. <laughs> well, we do have cupcakes. I think these should be easiest. I kind of overfilled them, but oh wait, hold up. That is a pretty good looking cupcake. Wow. Mmm. Yeah, right, I'm gonna survive. If I just make a few of these, I'm gonna be a-okay. Hmm. Tiny food is up. We've been doing tiny stuff for quite a while now. I think we're about like three or four hours in, so we're gonna be on to the next. It's almost Carter's birthday. See what else we should do. Oh my God. Why the confetti? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! You literally do this every year. Are you Look at this mess. That was awesome. Matt literally does this to me every year. I can't believe I didn't see it. That wasn't even a good hiding spot. How is that? Right, no one saw me. It worked. You didn't see me. I'm gonna have to clean it up with the world's smallest vacuum. Here we go. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's too small for it to fit. I mean, it picks it up, kind of like a picker-upper. But that is not very useful. Maybe it works better with the little attachment? I don't think so. I thought this would have worked a lot better, but we need something else. Hopefully this will work for a small sleep blower. I mean, this one feels like it actually puts out. Oh, okay. This works way better. It's actually making functional piles. I could sweep that up so easily. Easy. Uh <laughs> and done. 10 out of 10 would totally recommend the tiny leaf blower, especially if you're trying to survive using nothing but tiny things. It's getting dark and now we are gonna be doing the secret gaming room. If you guys haven't seen the secret gaming room, it's up three stories in the team warehouse. It's pretty crazy. We spent over $12,000 building this. Come on up. This little flashlight actually works really well. How do I look? Yeah, it works great. Come on, Andrew. We don't have all day. Oh, uh, actually, we have all day and we have all night because this is a 24 hour challenge. We gotta go up two more ladders. This ladder is the tightest squeeze out of them all for sure. We made it. The secret gaming room is actually one of the smallest rooms in the house, so I consider it tiny, so it means I can totally use it. I can't use the regular TV or the regular Xbox or any of the regular Nintendo Switches or gaming consoles, but that's okay because I have the Atari Tiny Arcade. This is the coolest thing by far that we have for this video. It's literally a tiny TV. Turning it on, I sure hope this works. Oh my god, okay, TV is powered up, tiny arcade. Pressing start, oh. We could play, oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Pac-Man, that's a classic. This is gonna be the world's smallest Pac-Man. 
Oh my gosh. This is insane. Got it. Got one. Let's get this other guy. Yep. Oh, I missed him. Oh, you got me. Kong. Kong. Kong's gonna be pretty good. This game is easy to play. Oh! Okay, that's embarrassing. I just lost. I think the best one is probably Pac-Man. Classic, good old Pac-Man. What are the chances on this 24 hour challenge that the world's tiniest little sugar glider flying squirrel shows up? Oh, he's moving. Hey, baby. Yeah. Oh, baby's a baby. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, that scared me. Bailey just called and he doesn't even believe that we just found a flying squirrel. You think they're expensive? No way you have a flying cheek squirrel. <laughs> It would have been the best day ever to finally like catch and keep it because they make I think they make good pets I'm gonna do research on it. If you guys know anything about it comment down below as for me I gotta go find a place to sleep Okay, it is now definitely getting late. So I need a place to camp out for the night instead of doing a tent I'm gonna use a tiny car. This thing is only a little bit bigger than the mini Jeep and it is tiny, but Hold the seats down Yes Huge dragonfly. Dead, okay. Anyways. Damn, this is gonna be where I spend the night. It's not gonna be too bad. Definitely better than the tent, and I have all my tiny stuff. We also got new Team Roar merch, guys. I got the Orange Oktoberfest Team Roar with the amazing monster on the back. We got it in orange. Andrew's got the blue one. Let's go. And of course, we have pink and green. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night here. Go to teamroar.com at the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.